if you do DoorDash, I don't know, like, if it's just bad luck or what, but I would recommend not getting Sephora orders because they're not eligible to tip you, which is stupid as fuck. I can understand if it's, like, delivering parts from AutoZone to Firestone that's ineligible to tip you. That's fine. I get that. But to deliver something to a customer, it's inel ineligible to tip you. But I'm 30 minutes out of my zone. So I had to drive 30 minutes here, and I'll have to drive 30 minutes back. This whole time driving back, I'm not going to get paid for it. And they weren't able to tip me. So I'm not going to be working for the next 30 minutes because it made me drive out this far. And the last time I had a Sephora order, it did the same thing. It made me drive, like, 30 or 40 minutes outside of my zone. So now I have to drive back. I mean, I could switch Continue zones. Continue on Horn Lake Road for one mile. And work here, but I work in a certain zone for a reason, right? So, um, you know, I could, if I was in my own zone, then I would be getting another order right now. And then I could do two or three more orders in the next 30 minutes and be being paid for my time and getting tips, but. Now I just have to waste time and gas to drive all the way back, and I only made like seventeen dollars. So that's annoying. It's basically like an hour of work just for seventeen dollars, because thirty minutes there and then thirty minutes back that I'm not getting paid for. But I mean, I'm actually I'm losing much more money than that because, like I said, I could do two or three, maybe even four more orders in the next 30 minutes. In a quarter mile, slide right toward Goodman Road West. I'd be getting paid for the time, plus however much they tip, so that's just stupid. So next time, I think I'm going to decline Sephora orders, because I mean, that's the only one that's ever happened to me. Like, Ulta Beauty has never done that to me, which is for some reason Sephora. I guess because take the like, next right toward Goodman Road West, then slide right onto Goodman Road West. I guess maybe there's just like less Sephoras overall, so people um, take are like, the next oh, right onto Goodman wanna... Road West. Okay, people are like, oh, I don't want to drive that far. You know what I mean? So they have DoorDash. Bring Continue it out. on Goodman okay. Road West for three miles. Okay, thank you. So I think people are like, oh, like that's thirty minutes away. I'll just have DoorDash bring it. You know, so. um... Actually, it's crazy. Like, this is kind of a shitty area to be in, anyways. I mean, it's like there's nice places. Like, the place I delivered the Sephora to was obviously a nice place, you know, big suburban house but um the welcome sign to horn lake is literally in front of an abandoned walgreens because if people do too many drugs in a community and they're abusing the walgreens for opiates then they'll shut the walgreens down or cbs or whatever pharmacy so that just kind of shows that these people are trash look a pig
but that Walmart, that Horn Lake Walmart, that's where I found my uh, oil pulling teeth mouthwash stuff. It's really, it's not as like good as it was like hyped up to be because it does have alcohol in it still and I'm not sure how I really feel about that. So I use it every now and then. It's not like an everyday type situation. But uh, it's got those oils in it that are good for your teeth so I think that's pretty good. It like hardly ever rains here. Like this is literally, I've been here for months and this is the second time it's ever even rained and it really didn't even rain, it just kind of sprinkled enough to get the roads wet. I guess now we're in Horn Lake again. Even though the Horn Lake Walmart is outside of Horn Lake, that's kind of weird. Well, I guess that's kind of true for a lot of cities. The Walmart will be in a different city, but it'll say it's such and such city Walmart, but it's outside of city limits. I think it's some sort of tax evasion type deal. So I know at the Amazon warehouse I worked at, it was physically located in Alexander. But the address was North Little Rock. So, and it was, it had some, they said it had something to do with taxes. That because they're physically in Alexander, they can't pay taxes to North Little Rock. But because their address is North Little Rock, they're supposed to pay taxes to North Little Rock. So then they have to pay, like, less taxes somehow. I don't know. Some sort of something like that. They explained it to me, but it went over my head and I really didn't care. That is dangerous, stupid, and illegal. And you got children in the car, so that's child endangerment.